Welcome back to Cooking in Kids Kitchen. Today we are experimenting with tapioca pudding. Yesterday I made a pudding using just milk, water, some sugar and vanilla and things turned out really good. However, today we want to improve the recipe. Some say proof is in a pudding and as you see, the yesterday's pudding turned out really good and kids just loved it. But today I want to make it even better. To start, we're going to go with two cups of water and two cups of milk and one cup of tapioca. Let's add tapioca into the milk and water. And then we'll set it to cook on a medium low. Mix it periodically to prevent tapioca sticking to the bottom of the pot. Within a five minutes, you will notice that um, the tapioca is thickening. And when that happens, add another cup of milk and a cup of water. We've been cooking this for about 15 minutes and now we're going to add another cup of milk and another cup of water. Here we go. While tapioca is cooking on a medium low, we're going to start working on the sugar and egg mixture. For the egg mixture, we're going to use four yolks. We're going to use half a cup of raw sugar, about a tablespoon of vanilla, some lemon zest and additional cup of milk. We'll use four egg yolks, so let's just separate them. Here goes half a cup of sugar. About a tablespoon of vanilla. And some lemon zest. This is enough. And we're now we're going to mix it well. Mickey did a fantastic job here. Um, as you see, um, all she did is to add some sugar and vanilla and lemon to four egg yolks. And originally this would be much creamier and better if we used powdered sugar. But we're trying to keep this recipe semi-healthy, which means we're using raw sugar. And raw sugar takes a little bit longer to dilute. In any case, it's going to be fine. And now that we have all this mixed nicely, we're going to go ahead and add a cup of milk into this mixture. Here goes milk. We'll mix this really well and then we're going to add it to tapioca. Tapioca has been cooking for about 20 minutes on low medium fire. It's ready and now we're going to add the yolk mixture. As you add yolk mixture, just mix it gently to incorporate egg yolk throughout tapioca. Pudding is looking and smelling heavenly. So here it is, our tapioca pudding we made yesterday without egg yolks and the one we made today. The difference is definitely, definitely noticeable, especially in the taste. The one with the egg yolks, it's so much creamier. However, as you see, this one did not have a time to set yet. And by tomorrow, this pudding will look very much like this one, where the little granules of tapioca will be noticeable and creamy. This treat will make a delicious and satisfying dessert for you and your family. I hope you had fun cooking with us today. So until next recipe and next cooking adventure, please take good care of yourself and your family. Good to the last crumb.